Have you ever lost faith in Jesus? Describe yourself in three words. I'm curious. I'm a bit weird. So a nicer word might be quirky. And I guess a third one would be nerdy. I'm a nerd lah, and I embrace that because God created me. What's three things that would put a smile on your face? Hmm, um, food, that's one. Meeting people I like, that's two. Three, um, going out for a good run or a, or a walk or being outside to just enjoy what's out there. So three things. Especially the first one, food. What is your favourite food? Chai Tao Kui. Carrot cake, the fried one with chilli fried into it. It must be white. When do you feel most alive? And what makes you feel this way? So I'm tempted to say all the time because I'm alive, but okay, never mind. That's just corny. Uh, there are certain times in ministry where I feel really alive, where I'm engaged, people are engaged in what we are doing together and that's, uh, that's very, very life-giving. I feel very alive um, when I'm teaching, when students listen and I'm not asleep. And recently, I felt very alive when I'm out in nature. So just walking in the park, seeing the beauty of nature that's in Singapore. Even though it's very hot, so you have to get past the oh, I'm, I'm feeling so hot, it's very, I'm sweating so much But even in the midst of that, you can, you can see that What is your deepest core value? Share more What do we mean by core value? Can I ask, what do you mean by core value? What do I believe in? God la. I think curiosity is very important in our, life, in our lives as Christians and Catholics because you can't say that you know everything. And God gives us this nice little brain of ours um, to question, to, to think about things more deeply. We do have questions about how our faith, how we relate with the world, how the faith is and, and, and all this. So I'm curious not just about the faith, but in the lives of people, how do people grow in faith? So I think the guiding principle of being curious helps me realize that I, I know very little and to always try to seek where God is in, in whatever we do. You know, they say uh, curiosity killed the cat, but curiosity is good for the Catholic. Okay, never mind. These are interesting questions. Quite chim. My advice to that my 20, early 20s self is don't be so full of yourself, go to church, uh, God will meet you and you will, you will be a better person. Have you ever lost faith in Jesus? If I were to be truthful, I don't think I've ever lost faith in Jesus, but I think the faith was, there were some times in my life, like my 20-something year old self, where the the faith was at a very, very low sort of, you need to look for a microscope kind of thing. Sometimes I just felt uh, at certain points in my life that God was very far away. Jesus did not seem like this friend that everybody tells me he is. So how can you have faith in something that you don't feel? If we feel Jesus is this real person, then we can definitely have faith in Jesus. So uh, getting into this relationship, knowing who Jesus is, knowing how I can relate with Jesus and how Jesus relates with me. That's where, that's where faith starts. If you weren't a priest, what would you do? I would continue to be a teacher because I think that's something that's part of me. I, I'd like to do that and I would probably continue to do that. I think when I was younger, I wanted to be a doctor. I mean, this is Singapore, everybody wants to be a doctor. And the funny thing was, there was a time I remember when I was a teacher, the postgraduate medical school uh, started up. Uh, I had a friend and we were thinking, you know, maybe we should go uh, buy a lottery ticket and if we won, we'll go, we'll go enroll in medical school because it was, it's the postgraduate medical degree is really expensive. It sort of stayed with me and I think I am sort of doing a little bit of that because, you know, doctors for souls. What's your mother's name? Tell me something about her. Mum's name is Stella. My mum is, I think, 
uh, in my opinion, one of the kindest people I know. She's someone who has taught me to go out of our way to, to help someone. I've been seeing her do that all her life. That's something that inspires me a lot. Hi, Mum. What's your favourite way to pray? Uh, I sit. <laughs> Sitting happens quite a bit when I'm praying. I pray with, with the scriptures and the psalms. So I think it's, it's always been something that I like. I start with, with scripture, I start with, with the psalms. I, I do either Lectio Divina or something a bit more Ignatian, maybe be a bit more imaginative. But it's always feeling where, how God is speaking through scripture. Being a nerd, I like to read, so having something to read and start off with, it always helps. Stan sits, right? Okay. All right. All right. What is Jesus saying to you in this season of your life? Um, Jesus is saying to me, hey, uh, you know, maybe it's just that. Jesus is saying to me, hey, and that hey is sort of a friendly hey. That's how I feel prayer is going um, during this time. It's just trying to spend more time and hearing Jesus go, hey, um, a little bit. What does keeping it real mean to me? Keeping it real uh, on the movies, keeping it real. Oh, hey. Wrong real. Oh, sorry. Be real. So be myself, not somebody else.